Get ready to pay more to fill your tank. A detailed costing of the federal government's new clean fuel regulations finds the new measures will increase the price of the pumps, give your family budget a hit, and impact economic growth. The regulations, which take effect July 1st, gradually force fuel producers to reduce the carbon intensity of gasoline and diesel by 15% by the year 2030. It's one of the many measures to help Canada hit its climate targets, but the parliamentary budget officer looked over the numbers and found the price to fill your car's tank will jump 17 cents per litre over the next seven years. The average increase in costs for households in Canada will be about $573. While your family may feel the squeeze in your pocketbook, our economy may lose as much as $9 billion, although that's considered a minor loss. $9 billion out of a almost $3,000 billion is not a whole lot. The report is reigniting the debate around the price we pay to protect our environment. Critics are calling this carbon tax too, arguing it's wrong for the government to add another expense on families while the country continues to struggle with a cost of living crisis. When bankruptcies and insolvencies are on the rise, one in five Canadians skipping meals because they can't afford the price of food. But the government is disputing this report, saying it ignores the real impacts of climate change. People can't breathe in Calgary because of forest fires in northern Alberta and, and, and Saskatchewan and British Columbia. We had floodings here, and yet the PBO doesn't even mention it in this report. A previous PBO report estimated in 2021 climate change cost our economy at least $20 billion. And by mid-century, the Canadian Climate Institute estimates that number could grow to $100 billion. The costs of inaction are clear and have a bigger impact on our GDP than marginally small impacts of taking climate action. But whether you're willing to pay to fight climate change or not, as we celebrate Canada Day, it's going to start costing more to fill the tank. Cormac McSweeney, City News, Ottawa.